Okay, so everybody's so cut and dry on it. Okay, let's say a baby to 16, right? Because 16-year-olds aren't having liberty for themselves. They can't think for themselves, right? So it completely invalidates if they make a mistake and get pregnant at 16 or there was abuse or manipulation that happened that took advantage of them. Okay, so 1 to 16, right? Uh, or 1 to 18, well, why not make it 1 to 29, you know, 1 to 35, okay, so 1 to 35 year old, okay, they get, um, they can go, uh, if they're conscious, if, if it's like 1 to 16 or whatever, you know, I don't think it's smart because the, the body doesn't have the metabolism to be really super strong, I don't think, you know, because women mature faster than men, they say, but, um, you know, if the metabolism and the organic state of their body isn't strong, it's not going to produce a, a, a good enough egg to have an efficient, you know, uh, amount of information in there and, and structure, you know, to create a being that is not going to have problems and ailments and be born you know, with weaknesses and sicknesses, you know, and to apply a soul to it, uh, it up until, you know, what, is it four months? Right? Boom. And then after 35, right, then it's like, come on, you, you really, but then again, how can you do that? Because, you know, then you have the circumstances, right? Then you have the circumstances, psychological things where people need to go get soused. And then, you know, not that I'm against it. I have some, you know, guesses when I uh, do open mic. But, you know, it's like, up until, you know, what? Where do you cut the line? So, in pro-life, you're totally destroying 1 to 16-year-old lives. Especially if it's like the mom's opinion. And they're like, you know, of a religion or something. That's not fair. You're actually destroying your child's life. And, you know, you're bringing uh, maybe a non-nurtured, uh, a growth growing growing organism that will that will be ready to uh, 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 house a soul with abilities because how can you say that a child that's born that needs to be on a machine yes they can be here and they are here and they're beautiful but like there is a a um, there there's totally a, an irrelevant part that you can't apply a soul because if so, souls are stronger than minds. And, you know, a soul connected to a heart in the right circumstance, you would have fetuses walking around. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's crazy. It's, it's just a, a crazy situation. You know, and I, I'm whatever. I'm a bad guy. But I don't, like, come out there and say, oh, let me think about this today. And it's like, how, what timeline are we in? And you f you're arguing about this? I mean, it is somebody's personal decision. You know? Nobody's there to say when Johnny's going to go ro rob a store. You know? Or or when... when uh, I don't... You know, I can't throw names out. Or when somebody else is going to put a pipe to their mouth. You know? You don't know about that. And, and you know, you're not there then. But yet, you want to be here, here, and totally from the outside, not give that person a, to, to a choice to destroy themselves or to seal their fate or to live a hard road or to have a life that affects others. I mean, you know, because even drinking, if you let somebody drink, their life will affect yours, okay? So if you stop them from drinking, it'd be the same thing as, you know, letting these people have a baby. Or not, you know, because 1 to 16, how can you say that a life isn't going to be compromised? Because the world may be getting older, but this was like ba back then when people didn't have medicine or technology. And, you know, they didn't live healthily past a certain point. So there was younger generations uh, of different uh, categories. And other countries are still like that in respect, but... In America, you know, I just think, you know, you really need to, to do something about this issue because it's a time waster and ultimately it comes down to somebody minding somebody else's business, you know. And if they want to seal their fate with that, let them sort it out with what is considered their God. 
after, in the afterlife, if it is on their conscience. But it, it shouldn't be on yours, you know, to actually destroy somebody else's life based on your principle, no matter what age they really are. So how, how are you going to promote it? How are you going to solidify the standing that you know there's a soul in there? You're willing to partition everybody else's hard work, blood, sweat, and tears, and taxpayer dollars to run machines when our own lives are falling apart in, in some financial senses. You know, because we need those machines. And because you want to force people, you know, up to, and there is, there, sh there can be a term, you know, but if it's rape or something, you, you really have to just check out and let that person make the decision for closure. You know, because what if there's a strong resemblance to that, that rapist? You know, and now that baby looks just like him. And now the mother is mortified and she's got a nightmare. You never think about that, do you?